focus on topics of national interest, accountability, and clarity of military objectives. That this takes us down a road of history with lessons that should have been learned by our leaders before. You look at this, can't, that NATO's decision here as they quote unquote consider sending in NATO troops as trainers into Ukraine cannot be separated from our own military. My brothers and sisters in uniform, uh, if any of these NATO countries send in the troops and something happens to them for any reason at all, it will be their excuse to invoke Article 5 in NATO, which will require, in their view, the deployment of U.S. troops and complete and total involvement. Uh, th this is to support a war that none of our own leaders, military or otherwise, can articulate. What is our actual actionable objective? What does the definition of winning look like? How does this best serve the American people and our national security <laughs> interests? It doesn't. Tulsi Gabbard's questioning of the United States' ongoing funding for the war in Ukraine highlights a demand for responsible governance and transparency. Clear, attainable objectives in foreign policy are essential to ensure that national resources are used effectively and align with strategic interests. Gabbard expresses significant concern about potential NATO intervention and the invocation of Article 5, which could compel the United States to deploy troops. This can be seen as a caution against entanglement in overseas conflicts that lack a direct benefit to national security. It's in the public's interest to ensure that any military engagement is justified, well-defined, and directly linked to the nation's security and prosperity. Analyzing Gabbard's critique reveals broad implications, reflecting a public desire to understand the foundations of military actions and to ensure these actions align with national values and interests. Transparency and clear goals are crucial for maintaining public trust and preventing fraud within the military.